Hey guys, Sam here today, and I'll be giving you a tutorial on render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, or 10. Alright, so I guess we can start it off by saying, first off, you need Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, or 10 again. So, first off, you go to File, and then New. I do not want to save that. Alright, so your template, well, well, let's put it to Custom. Never mind. Alright, so the width is 1280 by 720 and there is no progressive scans and then for pixel aspect ratio put put that to 1.000 square output rotation is original frame rate for me I like to put on 59.94 because I record in 60 frames per second and that's the closest you can get to whatever you have 60 and pixel format is 8-bit and full resolution uh, rendering quality is best. Uh, motion blur type, the first one, I don't even know how to pronounce that. And denser, denser lace method is none. And then click on start all projects with these settings because that's the settings you'll need. Unless you can change it to, I think, yeah, 29.97 if, if you don't record in 60 frames per second. Alright, so let me put a clip in for media. Let's see, do a little no scoop. Alright, this might take a while. Oh, never mind. Alright, so you drag it in here. First off, you want to uh, uh, click off maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. You need to uh, dis disable the sample because it will, when you pause it, right here, let me show you. Okay, put this to preview full. Alright. See right there? Do you see the blur? Yeah, so when we put this to, should work. I don't know if it does it. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it. That was a fail, actually. But, uh, I don't know why it does it, but my friend told me to put it on DCAM. This, uh, whatever it's called. So, yeah. Then, second, you want to crop it down. And, uh, I think I have, nope, no, I don't. So, you just want to crop it like that. So, the black lines aren't showing. Black borders. And, fuck. Alright, if this happens to you, the only thing you need to do is click on that like uh, dots and that's it actually and then you click on the clip that you want to render render as and then what you want to do is put it on Sony AVC MP4 M2 whatever that and then I have a custom one so you click custom which for video format it's AVC frame size is custom 1280 by 720 it's baseline CAP C A B A C frame rate is 60 non progressive pixel rate uh, ratio is 1 and bit rate is 8 million so for audio you want to include audio you really don't want well I don't mess with it but you can but I advise you not to and uh, format is mp4 and render quality is best yep. okay and then you save it. All right, first, and then uh, you have to pick where you want to save it as. Like, if you want to save it to the desktop, it's like that. Yeah, and name your file, and that's it. That's easy as it. That's how easy it can get. Well, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, I will be making more. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please free. Please be free to free to subscribe i just messed up there but uh, i don't want to watch i don't want to do this again because i'm trying to watch a movie on netflix right now but also like this video if it helps you if it didn't leave a comment leave a leave a feedback if you have any other good render uh settings just let me know and i'll see if it works for me because if it works for you it's probably gonna work for me you know you know how i do well thank you guys for watching this but yeah peace out